Hey guys, it's Ashley, and for the past three years, I have been asked time and time again why I do what I do and what my motivation is. Normally, I give a short answer of that, but today I'm going to give you the full, long version. So first of all, I do what I do because I don't understand how it's possible to not do something about all of this. When I was 15 years old, I looked around and I noticed that everyone, including myself, was dealing with the same self-confidence and body image and peer pressure issues. The issues that we were dealing with were serious and in some cases life-threatening and I didn't understand why more wasn't being done. I felt like there was some like national crisis going on and some serious public health issue and I wasn't just going to stay silent and allow that to happen. And so the first workshop was born. That being stated, I do what I do because I have been personally affected and I have so many, every single one of my friends has been affected. And I can't just stay silent and allow this to keep continuing. Second reason why I do what I do is because self-confidence unlocks potential. In middle school and during my first two years of high school, I had very low self-esteem and as a result I was very quiet, I didn't really raise my hand in class, and I was nowhere close to reaching my full potential. I was holding myself back because I was so focused on my body and how I was doing in comparison to other people my age. And then sophomore year, I started just barely, but I started a little bit to become confident and body positive. And suddenly, when I stopped thinking about my body so critically, I had time for other things. I would not be doing anything that I am doing today if I did not have self-confidence or if I was still so incredibly focused on my body. So the reason why I do what I do is because I'm very, very aware that self-confidence unlocks potential. And I know that there are lots and lots of people out there who have hidden potential, exactly like I did. And so what I hope to do through my work is I hope to unlock their potential by sort of sparking conversations about potential roadblocks and working to conquer the, road the roadblocks that are holding kids and teenagers back from reaching their full potentials. After all, self-confidence is incredibly important. The way we think about ourselves determines how we treat ourselves, the people that we surround ourselves with, and perhaps most importantly, how big we dream. That being stated, I do what I do because I can and because I've been blessed enough to be put in a situation where doing everything that I'm able to do is possible. I have parents who support me and take me to speeches and help me out with banking and business related things that I'm confused on. I have teachers who encourage me and taught me how to think critically and who allowed me and three friends, three 15-year-old girls at the time, to give a self-confidence empowerment workshop. I had a fantastic and supportive school system full of people who believed in me and encouraged me to chase after my dreams. And I have best friends who I do workshops with who fill in my gaps and best friends who encourage me and support me and want to see me succeed. I do what I do because I'm lucky enough to be in a position where what I'm doing is possible. I do what I do because I always think about what would have happened if someone had come and given my workshop to my eighth grade self. I can't even imagine how different my life would be if I saw my workshop when I was at my lowest point. If I had seen my workshop, I could have maybe prevented some of my friends' abusive relationships from getting that far. I would have stood up for myself. I would have gotten help earlier. I would have raised my hand in class more. I would have supported other girls more. I wouldn't have slut-shamed. I would have been more body positive. And I think that I would have been more empowered to do what's right. And I would have dreamed bigger. I do what I do because I want to be the person that my younger self really could have needed. I also do what I do because it is quite literally the perfect career option for me. Growing up, I wanted to be absolutely everything, and I was so terrified of the idea of having to choose just one career choice for the rest of my life. It's so exciting because now I get to be everything. I get to be a teacher. I get to be a businesswoman. I get to be a friend. I get to be a mentor. I get to be an author. I get to be a speaker. And above all else, I get to be a creator. But like, at the end of the day, and this is the final reason, I do what I do because I quite literally don't even have a choice in the matter. This is my God-given purpose and calling, and there's just no way for me to deny what God wants for me. After I gave my first self-confidence empowerment workshop, I was preparing for my second and my third, and I was watching a Dove Soap Real Beauty campaign video when I started sobbing. I had seen the video on a couple occasions before, and I didn't know why in the world I was crying, and then suddenly it just hit me. God had informed me with stunning clarity my purpose and my life calling. 
He told me that he wanted me to continue the path that I was on and that he would be on my side and he would provide me the opportunities and the tools necessary to carry out the work that he intended for me to do. And I do what I do because this is what I was meant for. I am his servant and I am so blessed to have been given such a beautiful and incredible task to carry out. So that is the long form reason of why I do what I do. Thank you so much for watching and please leave me video ideas, comments, like, subscribe, and make sure to sign up for my weekly newsletter. Thank you so much.